Hi, I'm Ian Cull, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on pressure differential. If mold remediation activities are occurring in a room, we don't want that air spilling out into the hallway or other adjacent spaces. Building an enclosure or setting up critical barriers around the affected area is great, but alone that won't prevent the contaminated air from getting out. Despite how great the work area has been contained, there will always be small little openings and pathways for air to move through. The question then becomes, is it air from the work area moving out through the openings, or is it adjacent air moving into the work area? Obviously, we want air moving into the work area and not the other way around. Well, how do you get the air to move in the right direction? Air moves based on pressure difference, always going from high pressure to low pressure. Well, if the pressure is lower inside the contained work area, then not much of it will be able to escape through the small pathways. But how do we create lower pressure, also known as negative pressure, inside the work area? That's best achieved with an air filtration device that exhausts air from the work area to the outdoors. The device uses a filter to remove the dust, mold spores, and other bioaerosols before exhausting the air. Because an air filtration device can be configured to make negative air pressure, it's often referred to as a negative air machine. For small areas, a HEPA vacuum placed outdoors with the hose inlet in the work area may be sufficient to provide enough negative pressure. Well, how much negative pressure is enough? That'll be covered in a future Tech Tip video. If you'd like to learn more about creating the correct pressure differential on a mold remediation job, consider taking the IAQA University class titled Engineering Controls. Visit the IAQA website for more information.